Hey everybody, this is James Makes. I'm doing something a little bit different. I uh, just wanted to introduce this project a little bit more. So I'm sitting in my car trying to get a little bit of peace and quiet and uh, talk a little bit about the concrete speakers that I made. So I made these almost a year ago now and uh, they were a request from a friend of mine, a guy named Noah Luna, who is a composer and musician and he wanted some monitors that he could use for his studio, his house studio. Uh, so he'd seen some concrete speakers that I'd made for my house and asked if I could make some for him. The requirements really were around building a good sounding, uh, really neutral studio monitor um, that could really be revealing and detailed, uh, but not fatiguing to listen to. So I kind of hunted around, asked around a little bit, and found a kit uh, or a design from Jeff Bagby. Uh, so Jeff Bagby is a member of the DIY audio community and has been for years and is on the speaker building group that I'm on on Facebook. And he has a design that's called the Continuum, uh, which is available as a kit through Meniscus Audio. So I ordered their kit, uh, but I ordered the version that actually didn't have the tweeters with them because another friend on the, uh, on the forum, on the same forum on Facebook, um, it's the DIY speaker building group. His name's Javad. Uh, Javad sent me a set of um, of the original tweeters that the kit was designed for, which are no longer available. So I was able to get a set of those. They're RS28, I believe, like RS28F or something along those lines from uh, Dayton Audio, aluminum dome tweeters. Uh, so got that, got the kit from Meniscus with all of the crossover parts and the woofer. Uh, which is an Aurum Cantus woofer, uh, a really nice piece of equipment. And so I got all of those things in and then did some design, did something a little bit differently, had to do some experimentation with the concrete and how we were doing the, the layup and all of that. So it took a long time to actually build these speakers. Um, took me, I don't know, about three months, I guess, to build them. Uh, and then took them out to NOAA in uh, San Jose. So just wanted to kind of introduce the project a little bit more than I normally might um, because there's going to be a lot of kind of ins and outs. I'm probably going to break this up into two or three different videos um, just to sort of go through some of the different steps. So we're going to start with some unboxing and we're also going to take a look at some of the parts. And then I think we're going to look at some of the experimentation that I did with some of the concrete, although I'm going to try not to get uh, too involved in that. So I have to have a big thanks to um, the folks at Meniscus Audio, Javad, uh, Jeff Bagby, who really helped me out during this project. And I also really have to thank Noah Luna for kind of uh, bankrolling the whole thing so that we could build him a really nice set of monitors. So uh, without further ado, we're going to get started on this project. Let's get to the unboxing, shall we? See what we got. Okay, let's see what we got in the box here. over instructions and some nice pictures to boot uh-huh crossover parts mm, inductors and these must be some nice speakers so if you haven't guessed what it is yet what we've got In this case, what we're opening is a speaker kit for the uh, Continuum from Meniscus Audio. And what we have here are some beautiful mid-ranges from Aurum Cantus. Really nice polycone. So this kit was designed by uh, Jeff Bagby. And you know, I had a friend reach out to me who wanted to do a uh, high-end monitor for his recording studio. And I said, absolutely, I will help you. But I really wanted something that was had a proven track record that I knew was going to have a beautiful neutral sound uh, that you need for the recording studio. And Jeff had this really nice kit available through Meniscus Audio. Um, 
And so I reached out to them and got the kit, but what I heard from Jeff was that maybe the original tweeters were perhaps a little bit better, maybe a little bit more magical than the new Morel tweeters that they have in the kit. So a friend of mine also on the DIY uh, speaker building boards on Facebook sent me these beauties here. So these are Dayton Metal Dome tweeters uh, with a really nice truncated frame. Sit really nice and closely like this with these Orem Cantus mid-ranges. So it'll be nice and close and we won't, um, we won't have any uh, issues with comb filtering or anything like that. So look at this beautiful Orem Cantus woofer here. Oh man, this thing is really nice. Uh, it's got a cast frame. You can see overhung magnet there, some space to, uh, excuse me, overhung voice coil and some space there to keep everything nice and running nice and cool, polycone. The only thing I don't like is, I don't like this, this style of frame, but you know, it'll go really nicely with this truncated Dayton uh, metal dome tweeter here. So super excited about that. Um, let's see what else we've got. So lots of other nice parts here. Some um, iron core and some air core inductors and a bunch of capacitors and resistors in there and look they even sent me some Tootsie Rolls how about that so that's pretty great and then of course it's a kit so it'll come with some instructions as well so I'm gonna have to uh, take a look at some of these guidelines and see what Jeff says on how to build these suckers so really excited to try them out the uh, original design is supposed to be like uh, the, the LS35A uh, BBC monitor and what we can see here is that uh, Jeff stays true to that with this design by rear mounting the woofer I don't know that I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna play around with it and see What we think of as being the uh, optimal design here. So I'm gonna take a good look at these instructions and you know, Start building something pretty soon. So this is gonna be kind of a special project uh, For my friend. So there we go. That's it. Happy unboxing day